Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Carl F. Bucherer Petravi Traveltech GMT 4X. Yes, that's a lot of names but because this is a uh, model within a model uh, within a model. So you have the Petravi family, which is uh, mostly the round watches. Um, and then you have the, the Travel Tech, and then you have GMT, which is not a version within that because they're all GMTs. But then you have the 4X, which is this kind of more um, sporty looking version of the, uh, the Travel Tech. And what's different about it, we have this cool ceramic bezel, skeletonized dial. Um, I believe this, um, this strap is unique to the 4X. And I think the 4X is also um, a limited edition. Now, even though it's a sporty watch, the 4X pieces um, are all in sort of higher end materials. Actually, I'm not sure if the, I'm not sure if these are, are limited edition. Don't don't call me that. Actually, I don't think they are. Um, but let's let's just talk about this watch because this is a very interesting timepiece and I actually like uh, Carl F. Bucherer a lot. Now, let me explain to you one of the reasons uh, I like the brand or a little bit about the brand to begin with. Uh, Bucherer is the name of a, uh, a chain of stores, watch stores in Switzerland, and they've been making watches actually for a very, very long time. Now, they wanted to make their own brands several years ago. They came out with Carl F. Bucherer, and the reason they added Carl F., which was, the I think, the original Bucherer, um, is because they didn't want their confusion with the retailer. So is it related to the Bucherer retailer? Yes, um, but they want to have a little difference. So they, they there are Bucherer branded watches from long ago, but there was a period where they stopped. So Carl F. Bucherer was kind of like the um, the re-release of the Bucherer heritage. And there's actually a lot of very interesting heritage, heritage which I think that they're going to focus on um, more and more in the years to come. So this is a travel watch. It's large. The case is, I think, almost 47 millimeters wide. And this one happens to be in a unique material. The first time I've worn a watch um, in this material. Um, it's related to platinum. It's palladium. So this is a 950 palladium case. So it's it's heavy. It's not quite as heavy as platinum, but it's virtually as as heavy um, as platinum and again you have this this ceramic uh, bezel and you also have titanium elements um, such as this element right here which is interesting now it says travel tech gmt so what does that mean frankly gmt doesn't need to be in there because i mean it is a gmt i just think it's a little bit redundant you know uh, <laughs> but that's it that's a naming thing so this is a cool little feature here so this is a pusher but it's in the locked position now and what you do is you turn it in either one of two directions. So that way, a little W, or this other way is a little E for east. So west and east. So when you're traveling, let's say you're traveling east, what you can do is you turn to the east position and you push it. And then that middle ring there, that middle 24 hour ring moves. And you use that in conjunction with this little red uh, GMT hand to know the time in another time zone but you also have the reference time GMT on this other scale. So there's literally two 24 hour scales with a GMT hand, plus the regular time, plus the date, plus a chronograph. So you have a lot of features in there. Now this particular movement isn't fully in-house by Carl F. Bucherer, but the brand does make their own in-house movements, namely the A1000 family of movements. But the module that does this is their own. Um, and one of the sort of like virtues of the brand that I happen to like a lot is the fact that all of the watches they make try to be um, as utilitarian and useful as possible. So when they add features to timepieces, they try to make them things that you would actually use. And, and I appreciate that. When I first saw this, I was like, this is a strange watch. But as I've been wearing it, we're realizing it's not only attractive, but it's legible and it's very, very cool. The 4X version, um, of course, adds a lot of these more wild characteristics. So if you want something that has the same uh, features, the normal travel tech is probably uh, the way to go. And in addition to this palladium version, there's also, I think, just a, a, an 18 karat rose gold um, version as well. On the back here, you can see a scale, and there's reference cities here, um, which tells you, for example, if you are in Dubai, it is uh, GMT plus four. So that helps you when you're traveling for you to know um, exactly. So you like you start at one time zone, and you realize, okay, I'm moving west. I need to move, you know, this many spots, so you know exactly what time it is. Um, and it also helps you when you're trying to understand what the time is in other places. So there's that cool scale in the back. Little feature here I like as well. Little open window. It's actually almost easy to forget about this little feature here, but it has um, just a little sapphire crystal window there um, on that mechanism, so you can sort of see it operating there. 
while I'm pushing that pusher. That's just a cool little thing there. Um, there isn't inherently a, a, a utilitarian use, but it's just cool to have that window with a little view into the movement. I think that's a nice little touch. The chronograph is, you know, it's a chronograph, just easy to use. Um, it's worth noting that the movement is cost chronometer certified, so that's a good thing. Um, some of the detailing here, I think, is really, really attractive. So, for example, if you look at that, um, the date there, you have a reverse mounted magnifier on the crystal, and the date is actually um, stencil cut. So it's a stencil cut um, ring, and you can see it around there. And then there's a red section, so it's highlighted in red um, to show the date. That's just I, I, an additional feature, um, more expensive to do. They could have just had a disc there with, you know, n numbers printed, but they decided to have a stencil cut one, which just adds a, a, a interesting quality to it. Um, you know, reading the date is kind of, eh, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but that magnifier helps in a major, major way. Um, there's also text printed on the back of the sapphire crystal. So you have that red ring there around the date window, and then you actually have the Carla Pucurere name uh, and logo, as well as the name of the watch, reverse mounted there on the sapphire crystal. So it's sort of floating there, which is cool. Loom is actually quite good on this watch. Um, there isn't a huge amount of loom, but there is loom on the edges of the uh, the hands as well as the uh, the periphery of the hour markers, um, and, and I like that. So you have a mixture of ceramic, titanium, um, and of course palladium. So it's it's a hefty watch, but it's cool. Let's put it on the wrist there. I can't believe I forgot that. The buckle, by the way, is uh, titanium. So the strap is cool. It's got this kind of like carbon fiber weave thing going on, which I think is nice. As a big watch, it is actually surprisingly comfortable. It just looks cool. I mean, it's just, it's a cool looking watch. It's just crazy looking cool. Um, you know, and, and again, I, I can't stress that as, as unique as the design is, there's a lot of legibility to it. Um, if you see here, for example, there's this polished element. What I like here is they created this um, section here so that there isn't as much of a gap between the strap on the case there between the lugs. Just a nice little detail um, that, that I definitely appreciate. So again, this is the Karlef Bucherer Petravi Traveltech GMT 4X in Palladium. Retail price is um, about, I think about $53,000. And you can see the full review soon on a blog to watch. Thanks. <laughs>